Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I'm LP Marsh 94 and we are back with some more Code Veronica X. Uh, I'm gonna apologize straight off the bat if I sound a little weird today. Um I don't know, my throat just feels really strange today. I kinda I sound hungover. It's the best way I can describe it. I, I don't know, it's really weird. But anyway, right, yes, so last episode we went through all that trouble fighting that bloody albinoid. So we could get this thing, which I believe is what we use to, uh, get out of here. Like so. I'm a little weirded out. Hold on, Claire. I'll save you. Why is a VTOL jet just reverse itself into view? How does Chris know how to fly a jet? I know he was a pilot. He was a very good pilot for stars. He was also a better marksman than that though. No, he was, he was a good pilot, he was a better marksman, which is why he wasn't a pilot in Stars. I suppose he could have learned how to fly a jet during that, I suppose. I don't know. Oh god, Resident Evil 6 flashback. Shout out to the uh, fuel can. Alright, so we are here in the Antarctica now. Once again. I've earned a trophy. Oh, hang on, there's two doors. Okay, my book says to go to the left. I'm not feeling the uh, exploration thing today. All right, well, fuck you too. Really? Man, that's annoying. Oh, come on, I don't have the bullets for this. Hmm. I think I meant to go this way. <coughs> God, oh man, I sound like crap. What is with my throat today? I don't know which door I want. Just run straight ahead. Oh, it's the creepy save room. And I can use this. I have a paperweight. A file. Alfred's diary. Ooh. There's zero room in the hallway located inside the time.
Okay. There's an ink ribbon. Sure, we'll take it. So I can put it away in there. Hey, umbrella, biohazard, Alfred and Alexia, and then we've got a spade, got a heart, and we've got a crown. Hmm. I'm sure it makes sense later on. Doesn't seem like there's anything left for me to do around here. Okay. Uh, come on then, guidebook, what am I doing next? Oh, make sure I have the fire extinguisher. Save the game between the extinguishing of the and exit and run back up the stairs. Don't go to the hall to Chris's right. So don't go right. I hope the game's gonna give me like a bunch of bullets and stuff soon. So I cleared out this entire room, didn't I? Isn't that a file? It is! Worker's diary. <coughs> uh, Okay, creepy. Oh, there's ink ribbons and grenade rounds. Man, I missed a bunch of stuff. So I don't think I need any more ink ribbons at the minute. Oh yes, the bullets I couldn't grab because of an F8 spray. I might as well just Grab these ink ribbons, nip on back to the save room, drop this stuff off. I'm really having to start using some of these F8 sprays. I'm running out of herbs. Kinda didn't want to, because obviously, you know, it's Resident Evil. Don't want to give in to the F8 spray. I think it's really starting to hurt now. <clears throat> right, so. I'll put them in there. Alright. So now, I'm assuming we're going back this way. What the hell happened to this room? 
it's all iced over now. Oh, I suppose, oh yeah, no, the place kind of got a bit flooded in that, didn't it? No, obviously it's Antarctic. Yeah, they're frozen up. Oh. Oh, I can jump down. Okay. I don't know if it's just because it's ice or what. I keep thinking I see something moving in there. Could be water. Anyway, um... I think I need to go this way. Wow, this place seems real different. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's kind of impressive that he broke through the- oh god, they're all breaking through the ice. And Chris just stands. Uh, what the? What the hell? Okay, that's new. Um. Yeah, game, you want to tell me what door I'm going through? I'm going back. Am I? I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. What the hell was that? Hey, bro. Oh! Why is there two? Oh, I knew one of you was going to get my leg. I'm getting the feeling one of these guys is a friend. Machines broke. Um, at least I can get in here now. Hell yes. All right, can I open this? Damn it. I'm guessing I'm just gonna have to put that in the box and give it to Claire. Oh well. So let's see what's around here then. You're fucking kidding me, right? What? He's here? Oh, there's another one there. God damn it. I found something more annoying than any other enemy in the game. 
Those damn little robots. Ugh! What the... God damn it! I kind of have no idea where I am now. My book is not helping me. I was apparently meant to have ended up somewhere else according to what... Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Goodies. So what did that do? Okay, so I've turned on the electric. Now I turn on the electric. I'm guessing, okay. <clears throat> Don't know if I still need this. Don't know if I need any of this. Alright, don't think I need this, because Chris doesn't have a lockpick and can't open it. Oh, I don't know. But what I am going to do, though, is try and switch these around. Like so, because it's annoying. And I am afraid that I am going to have to call the episode here, guys. My throat is really hurting, so I'm sorry it's just a short one. But I wanted to make sure you guys had something to watch today. And I did not expect this to be kind of actually painful. But yes, so there we go. We have made it to Antarctic at least, and I need to find out what the hell I'm meant to be doing next, because... I've gone somewhere completely different to where the game was trying to get me to go to. Yeah, this guidebook's starting to get less and less helpful. Because it expects you to remember how to get to all these different places. It says, go here, and I'm like, I don't know how to get there. We've been running around the training facility for the last three, four episodes. I'm not going to remember everything about the Antarctic. Dear, oh dear. But anyway, yes, thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and again, apologise about the short video, but I will make up for it. So, have a good day, everyone. Don't sulk with me, Chris. I know it's a short episode. I know you're enjoying getting attacked by hunters, but don't sulk with me. Alright? I've got some making up to do.